Hey everybody, this is Cody. And Sean. This is the place to hear about the paranormal, the supernatural, and, and everything, everything in between. between. guys it's the new reality here how's everybody doing today i'm doing fantastic why are you doing fantastic because it's saturday it's saturday and we're doing a ghost hunt tonight right yeah you know this ghost hunt is gonna be sick really <laughs> because you know we've been there and we've done that but we've been there and it's been sick it's been sick, really. <laughs> Just sick. Sick's going to be the, the, the term of word it, it, that we're going to use. We're, yeah, as <laughs> it's we walk sick. through, we're going to say it was sick. <laughs> now, are we going to be feeling sick, too, or is it just sick as um, in cool? I'm going to say yeah, because <laughs> for sure there there's definitely some kind of energy there that's not necessarily positive. Well, I think it's going to be fantastic. I mean, we caught a freaking doll head moving last time, right? That was insane. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I'm thinking some new things. I haven't discussed it with you guys, but I'm thinking let's really – let's let's – get some energy maybe let's you know do what it I mean? no well hey before we dive into all that make sure you guys follow us on all our social media we do have it all on our website which is the new reality 11.com you'll find us all there on facebook twitter instagram and all of that jazz all over the place come on <laughs> hey so and also when you guys if you if you have a story to tell you know you guys have some kind of ghost story we're all about it bring it on absolutely yeah just um you know you can either go to our our, um, our website or our email which is the new reality 11 at gmail.com and we can answer your questions there or maybe we can set up a live podcast type of thing or something like that Yeah, why not yep. so and all our viewers tuning in right now on instagram feel free to go ahead and send us a uh, question if you want or just come in and say hi and, and one thing big thanks to our buddy nick here that's doing all our camera work what Thank up you, now <laughs> So um, let's get into this investigation tonight, huh? I'm excited, really. Um, definitely have had butterflies all day today. So what do you think we're going to get tonight? I think we're going to, in my mind, we need to focus on each room. Um, I do feel like there's a lot of different energy in each room. I think that the doll room showed itself but I really honestly believe there's different energies in each room. And I really want to focus on the, what was it, the um, nursery. The nursery room. So that's where we got the K2 hits. Um, right. Actually, Nick was communicating with something in there, right? That well, was... th maybe that's the reason why, but not really. But Nick has definitely a connection with whatever's there. Absolutely. Maybe it's the kind heart that he has. But, oh, um, he I... de definitely doesn't have a kind <laughs> heart. <No. laughs> So. But I definitely got a, a female entity there. Um, yeah, I think there's a lot going on there, but that little girl there is... Not to uh, mention the uh, shadow figure, right? Yeah, the, the shadow figure. What's nice is uh, hopefully these owners, the owners are going to go ahead and allow us to go into some areas that um, they didn't allow us before. I was able to go in by myself when we first got there, but if... They do let us do a walkthrough. I really want to make sure that myself and you and our camera guy over here, Nick, is involved just because I think there was a lot Absolutely. that captured. I, yeah, I think there's there's all kinds of activity going on in there. Obviously, there was we caught so much stuff. I still think we haven't gone through everything fully. No, you know? no, I agree. <laughs> I, I totally agree. I haven't gone through the recorder. Uh, definitely EVPs through the camera. Which um, is really good. Yeah, you know, I think that just shows there was a lot of, like, visual experiences that we had but at the same time like it's it's all about working through our electronics right I mean, absolutely that's how, you know paranormal and, and the owner was saying she would like to be a part of um that little ghost box session that we do which i think is cool right the, well that'd uh, be amazing yeah right? yeah where we use the sound canceling headphones and go from there i think i think that'd be great so what's your thoughts are, are we going to go ahead and have her ask questions is that, yeah. is that the plan i think we should get her involved i yeah, mean it's it's her absolutely. place it's uh, Ultimately, she's the one who deals with the spirits there. We're just there to help out. You Absolutely. Know? But I think if we get her talking, stuff will start happening and whatnot. So, so do I dare call it? trigger figure it could, yeah absolutely <laughs> a trigger Tr object yeah trigger start. object which is just so happens to be a person so yeah yeah <laughs> and you know what i think um i think it's a great idea i think she is definitely has a deep connection with the location um i really think um a lot's gonna happen and i think that we're gonna take our time in each room and 
you know, I'm, I'm excited about the team. I really am. Do you think we're going to get another doll head turning? <laughs> Maybe not a doll head, but I'm I'm thinking a shadow figure. Like I'm yeah. hoping we capture a shadow figure so because that's that, what I feel like. You going know, on have there. we ever caught a shadow figure on film? I don't think we have. No, no. Have have you you seen a? I've figure? seen a shadow so figure. Where, yeah. where was that, Mr. Cody? So I've seen I've seen I have seen words are hard. I've seen a shadow figure at Heritage Junction. Um, that was with that tall cowboy figure um, up in the rafters. Remember oh, so that? So you saw it up in the yeah. I saw it up in the rafters physically <clears throat> with my eyes. Excuse me. And then you saw it through Before your mind's that, eye, correct? I, I saw it. Yeah, I definitely saw it through my ability, um, which is crazy because, I mean, you got it physically and I, I felt it. Well, we were able to uh, substantiate each other's claims because we were in different groups at the time. Absolutely. So I think – did you go to the – you went first, correct? Yeah, uh, we ended up in the building first. That was the same building before we went upstairs when the group saw the entity come out of the wall – um, next to me, I, I, I'm guessing it was a haze because they said, oh, my God, there was a freaking head that came out of the wall. I'm like, really? Like, it was that obvious? But <laughs> um, I'm thinking it was some kind of, you know, maybe a, I don't know. You, so you don't think it was paranormal? No, I think it was paranormal, but I don't think it was as clear as a head coming through a wall. Right, right. So they were just like, oh, hey. Yeah, what the hell was that? Yeah. You know, it was kind of a mist, I'm well, guessing. And, and I did was, feel it something. And that was, was that cowboy looking thing, right? Right. So I went. You know, shortly after, and that's when I kept getting the sense that he was making himself taller than he really was, right. and he was hiding in the rafters to try and scare people. And here I am, just sitting there, like, "Hey, what's up?" Yeah, you know? like <laughs> seeing him for who he was. You know, it was funny. Right. It was. It, it, I. It almost is as if he was so short that he had to. Short man syndrome. <laughs> but I'm just kidding. That's what I got. Well, you know him. what? You might have something there because. He was making himself like stupidly big, right? Like seven, eight foot tall, and he was wasn't. It just wasn't that. Yeah, it seemed like know? elastic guy. It was, uh, but yeah, you you got the him trying to intimidate, him trying to be bully like, but right. Uh, uh, you know, we as it came, you could tell, and we could feel it wasn't that's absolutely what it was. yeah. So I seen a shadow figure there, and I did see another shadow figure at Fort MacArthur. God, I miss that place. Oh, love that place. Yeah. I, there's no way to get into that place. <laughs> uh, you know, I, just from the research that I've done and then from uh, texting Judy or whatever, she she says, yeah, we can't get in there anymore. They don't do that. But it was down in that tunnel that everybody was scared to go into. You remember that? And you and I are like, oh, well, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> I kind of so we go in that tunnel, tunnel, and that's, you know, right right past the, the little dark hallway down there. So what's crazy is because you remember me, I went over to the other side and yep. that was when I was getting a lot of knocks and, yes. and just respond, direct responses. Right to, to your freaking head. Yeah, and you <laughs> you you saw, was it, you saw the shadow yes. figure go and then that happened? And That's then that happened. So that phenomenal. just substantiates, you know, that. That's phenomenal. It's yeah. crazy. So now, have you seen shadow figures yet? The I, You know, it's funny is I don't normally see things physically, which is probably because I'm blind. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I did because you're getting older. Yeah, or? well, no, I've, you know, I've always been blind, even when I was young. And <laughs> right. as I get older, it just gets worse, and so <laughs> I'm gonna have to ho totally depend on my third eye. But anyway, um, uh, there was that one cemetery by the cement factory. It was very fast. Oh, oh um, yeah, oh, I man, forget the name, the name of it. God, yeah, what is they, down there? I can't even. Think they of got the name. that place freaking locked up tight now. But like, <sighs> it was the first time I saw uh, like a old ground, well, old ground cemetery. Cemetery. Yeah. I saw it was fast. It stood tall, and then it shot across. It must have been thirty yards. Like right that. now, I remember that was a while ago, right? It was right. Well, now there, it's you know, there's no way to get in. Well, <laughs> totally you know, locked it, it in, and that's just shadow figures right shadow people or whatever now we have seen white masses we see those all the damn time right right so do you think there's a difference between the two or do you think it could be one and the same no i think they're the same i i think that it, it has everything to do with uh the light frequency i think we see only so much and, and with our eyes and i think there's so much that's going on beyond our perception of uh through our eyes that's why you know they call it the sixth sense you start you you start feeling because not you don't also you don't necessarily see you know that's a movie right it's a, <laughs> the sixth sense the sixth sense <laughs> no um no I agree with you yeah I agree that's why they call it the sixth sense also like a different dimension type of thing right right and that's also why our equipment can see things that we can't too. yeah D different to like per, you know we've got the uh, what was it, ultraviolet we go with the full spectrum full spectrum 
We go with, uh, what is it, um, the night vision, which is several different, um, uh, you know, pers- you know. Perspectives? Yeah. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, it, it's really amazing because I feel like th- you, when you go into a room and you're using your senses, it has everything to do with uh, six sense. Is that really a sense or is that really just using everything that's around you? Right. Well, the, you know what's funny is, and I'm kind of going on a soapbox here, but there's a thing called cognitive investigation or cognitive interview. And you kind of use that during an investigation as well. It's when you tune in, especially when we're using the ghost box, the right. little ghost box session that we do. It's where you tune into one thing and you really focus on that and you kind of drown everything out, right? There's also right. cognitive meditation. And the FBI uses this in interrogations and whatnot, too. They use their cognitive techniques, if you will. So um, how do you know this guy? <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't say. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but, um, no, yeah, they, they use that for, you know, that's that's how they use, you know, certain techniques. And I think that's how a lot of investigators as well do that. They just don't really put a label on it. But Right. No, cognitive investigation is definitely a thing. It's just you're just focusing on one aspect and you're tuning everything out. You know, so like, so it's a narrow focus. So Correct. In, in my mind, it's it's really just is it is it a meditative state? Is it absolutely is it where you're? It's, it, it's it, all it, about no, it, what it's one hundred percent is a meditative state. So you you know you do your deep breathing, which you and I we know all about meditation. You right. do your deep breathing, really center yourself, ground yourself, tune everything out except for your breath, and then you listen. Right. So you're in this meditative state and you're listening and you're listening for one specific thing, or it doesn't even have to be listening. You can be searching your memories for something, something that's relevant you know, to absolutely. What, that, that, that presence of that moment you're having. Right. So let's talk about, I don't know, like being in situations and then just knowing that you're in the right place at the right time it's and you're doing what you're supposed everything to do. Everything we do or? Yeah, <laughs> yeah you know, in our everyday life. You know, we love to be doing paranormal all day long and freaking, you know, not doing our everyday job right um but that's a part of the experience it's all about what we're learning from every experience but you know you've talked about a couple of situations i know we can't go into detail but you know you talked about how you knew what you were supposed to do and, and right. how you knew you had no reason to be worried correct so let's talk and about that like it, what is that cody this, what is that and so what sean's referring to is like you know uh, I'll just kind of go into it just very vaguely, but you're going into, as everybody knows, I'm a, I'm a police officer as my everyday job, but you go into an investigation and shit's freaking hitting the fan and you kind of just know, or it's like a, it's a knowing that everything's going to work out or it's a knowing that everything's fine. If that makes sense. Absolutely. I, I can't really explain what it is or what that is, but it's go ahead. Go me, ahead. Me, 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 <laughs> me, me, me. So what I feel that is, 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 Cody's working in his divine space. He, Cody is is at service. He's at service for people that are around him. He's at service for himself. And so when you are doing exactly what you're supposed to do at the right time, you feel protected because they're watching over you. Right. And what they are is whatever that person's perspective is. Is that your grandfather, which... We've had discussions right. this week about right. your grandfather. Yep. Um, is that or guides an angel? Or is that whatever your faith is? Right. Doesn't matter. People are watching over you. Right. You're never alone. Your loved ones are always like embracing you. They well, love you. And, and you know, just to kind of piggyback off that, actually, Nick and I were just talking about this earlier. Everything happens for a reason, right? You, Absolutely. I don't know. You and I are full heartedly believers in that. Even the bad things, you know, yeah, everything. Absolutely. There's a reason for everything. Um, I, I will preach that until the day I die. But, um, and I have stuff to substantiate that too. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like everything's working out where you think this is like the most horrible thing ever. Right. Which it is in, in, yeah, in retrospect, sucks. it is, it's the <laughs> most worst thing ever. Right. But there's always a, a blessing in disguise. If I right. say there's always a something on the other side, this that's, is the reason for right. Right. You're right. So, but there, there's a lot of people out there who do not believe that. Well, that's because, well, I mean, they're stupid. We're, no, well, no. <laughs> you know, it's easy to feel that way, but you know, there's a level of awareness that's happened. You know, um, you're sensitive. We know that I'm a medium. So I do you, cry a lot. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, yeah. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Where's yes. The t- the no, I, I am. I am. Where's the tissue? For sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, think that, you know, there's a level of awareness and, and, and I think people on this planet are, are learning as they have each of their their lessons, right? So 
we probably went through a lot of different lifetimes going through all kinds of bullshit. And so, hey, when we're going to go into this lifetime, we're going to know this, this, and this, and this. Right. We're going to be more aware. We're going to be more understanding. We're going to understand what the fuck's going on around us. And everybody else is asleep. They're just oblivious. It, yeah, that's... Everybody what, else. Yeah, yeah. No. You know, and, and that's not ego. <laughs> but... There are people that probably are listening to this that are in the same boat. They're like, why are you doing this stupid shit? Like, right. you know, do what's best for you and the world. And I think a lot of people well, don't it, really see that. They get caught they, up in They get caught up media. and everybody's so, – where is it? Oh, he has my phone. But everybody's so on their phone all the time, you know. They're, they're just worried about one thing and one thing only. Yeah. And I, I'll be first to say I do that too, you know. Get I get caught up and – your head out of your phone <laughs> ass. Exactly, exactly. Your phone ass. There's a big brown spot in the middle of your phone. That's where your head's Whoa, lodged. way too vivid. <laughs> Get your head out of your ass. Like, look around you. I, 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 I got to say, I've really made a point in, in about getting myself out in nature. Like, today I went out. And just looked at stuff like, wow, the, the trees are green. Oh, here we go. You're going to be on a hippie rant, aren't oh, you? No. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like uh, there's a, a butterfly that just about hit me in the face. I mean, and here I am breathing fresh air. Like oh, I'm not worried about what shit. a concept. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm not worried about what's going on tomorrow and what's what happened yesterday. I'm like living in the moment. And this guy is all about preaching living in the moment. Don't pay, you that, know, focus on the bullshit when it's happening. Hasn't Don't. that been like the motto of the week though? Holy Living shit. in the moment. It's, it's, it and it's so hard to do because everybody time, that's where time plays an issue. Everybody's worried about what's going to happen tomorrow or the next day or what happened before or all that crap. And there's so much bullshit going on. <laughs> <Is> so <laughs> much bullshit going on. <laughs> no, there is. And everybody's so worried about it. But I think if everybody just stops and takes a minute and breathes, it's, take a deep breath. And it's all it's all yeah. gonna be all right. Everything else is just noise. Like like you said, one like five seconds. Right. Through the nose, and exhale through the mouth. Right. Just like that is all it takes to be in the moment. Mm -hmm. Like stop paying attention to the the noise because it's just freaking noise. You know, can you do anything about it? Then stop worrying about it. But it's so easier said than done, right? Yeah, I oh. know. And and because it's so. It's so, what's the word, uh, consuming, mm -hmm. you know? It just consumes every part of your life. Absolutely. I mean, it, and it's it, I under, understandable, right? Like, so they're they're throwing all this fear at you. Like, oh, my God, we're going to die. The, the world's going to come to an end. Blah, 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 blah. It's all noise. Right. But it's really easy for people to go into that fear. Absolutely. And, 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 and really be concerned. They feed it. Right. Know, so. Well, it's, it's, it's natural, right? right? It's natural. And that's the that's the lesson. So right? you can say we're going against the grain, right? Oh, I'm all about the, <laughs> against the grain. You know what I mean? <laughs> man, we've been on every single freaking topic known to man this podcast. I like this <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> so it, it's been fun because we haven't done this. What, what's it been? Two weeks? It's been two weeks. Yeah, just you know, for everybody listening, that I, me personally, have had a lot of stuff going on. I know Sean has too, but we we're trying to get back into the routine again. We have an investigation tonight. Hopefully, this podcast will air tonight as well. So uh, it's, it's all it's all going to be wonderful. Can't wait. Excited, guys. Have patience. You know, we, we both work. We both have lives. We have things we have to take care of. You know, just please understand. It, um, if someone can just give us $10 million, we can do this for, you know, full time. And we'll even, like, look for things that are on it. I'll tell you what. <laughs> somebody gives me $10 million, I'll do whatever the hell they want. Hey, easy. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Well, hey, guys, thanks for tuning in. This is The New Reality here. I'm Cody. This is my partner, Sean. It's been a great time, guys. Uh, have an awesome weekend. Bye. Bye.